Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. I'm Kerry. Today I'll be showing you how to crochet a deer or a fawn. When crocheted using 8 ply yarn and a 3mm hook, this one, the size is 12 cm by 21 cm or 4 and 3 quarter inches by 8 and a half inches, the medium deer crochet using 4 ply crochet cotton and a 1.5 mm hook is 8 cm by 12 and a half cm or 3 and a quarter inches by 5 inches. This small deer crocheted using 2 ply crochet cotton and a 1 mm hook is 7 cm by 11 and a half cm or 2 and 3 quarter inches by 4 and a half inches. Now you can leave off the antlers like I did with this one or leave off the spots like I did with this one. Today I'll be using the Katona cotton. I've got 179 Topaz, 106 Snow White, 105 Bridal White and 110 Black. I've got a 2.5mm crochet hook, scissors, a darning needle to weave in the ends and sewing thread and a needle to stitch it together. Now I haven't worked one in the Katona before so I'm not sure of the size but I'll tell you at the end of the video. Now I'm starting on the head there so I've got my 179 the topaz and I start with four chain For row 1, I work one single crochet in the second chain from the hook. A single crochet is a double crochet using UK terms. For a single crochet, put your hook in the stitch a second from the hook and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook and take the hook with this yarn at the end through both loops. Then we work one double crochet into the next stitch. A double crochet is a treble using UK terms. For a double crochet, put the yarn around the hook, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through two loops. Yarn around the hook, hook with the yarn at the end through the remaining two loops. Then we work one single crochet into the last stitch. For row 2, we start with 1 chain and turn our work. We work 3 single crochet into the first stitch. One single crochet into the next stitch. And 3 single crochet into our last stitch. We'll have seven stitches. For row three we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch And one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. We're going to work two half double crochet into our last stitch. A half double crochet is a half treble using UK terms. For a half double crochet, put the yarn around the hook, hook into the stitch and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook and take the hook with this yarn at the end through all the loops. And we need one more half double crochet into that last stitch. We've got nine stitches. For row four, 
we start with two chain and turn our work. We work two half double crochet into the first stitch. One single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. We'll work two single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 11 stitches. So after our two half double crochet, work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. and work two single crochet into the last stitch. And then work three chain. The three chain is for our nose. For row five, we miss the first chain and work one single crochet into each of the two remaining chain and then one single crochet into each stitch to the end. We'll have 13 stitches. So miss the first chain and work a single crochet into each of the two remaining chain and then a single crochet into each stitch to the end. For row 6 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of our 13 stitches. For row 7 we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. For a joined single crochet put your hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop. Hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop. We have three loops on our hook. We put the yarn around the hook and take our hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. Then we work one single crochet into each stitch till we have two stitches left. We'll work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches and we'll have 11 stitches. So after our first joined single crochet, work one single crochet till you have two stitches left.
and work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 8, we start with one chain and turn. We're going to work one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches. We'll work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches and we'll have 10 stitches. So one single crochet into each stitch till we have two stitches left. I've got two stitches left so I work a joined single crochet over my last two stitches. For row 9 we start with one chain and turn. We're going to work a joined single crochet over the first three stitches. So we put our hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop and then hook into the third stitch and bring up a loop. I've got four stitches on my hook. I put the yarn around the hook and take my hook with this yarn at the end through all the loops. Then I work one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches I'll work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches and I'll have seven stitches. So after my first joined single crochet I work one single crochet into each stitch till I have two stitches left. And I work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 10, I start with one chain and turn. I work one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches. I work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches and I'll have six stitches. So one single crochet into each of the first five stitches. And work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 11 we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first three stitches. One single crochet into the next stitch and a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. And that's the head done, except for the neatening row. We're not going to turn. For the neatening row, we start with one chain and we work one single crochet into each stitch around the head. So we just find a suitable place to put our hook close to the edge and work a single crochet into each stitch.
and try not to pull too tight so that your work stays flat. Now I'm going to crochet over the top of this tail here so I'll hold it against my work and crochet over the top of it. When I get back to the beginning of the row, I work a slip stitch in the top of the first stitch. For a slip stitch, I put my hook into the stitch, bring through a loop and take it straight through the loop on my hook. And I fasten off. And that's the head done. Now for the nose, I've got my black and I join in the second last stitch before this point here. So this stitch here. And I work one chain. Now I'm going to work a joined half double crochet over the same stitch as the chain and the next stitch. So I put the hook, the yarn around the hook, hook into the same stitch as the chain and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook and hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop. Then I put the yarn around the hook and take the hook with this yarn at the end through all the loops. Then I work one chain and slip stitch in the same stitch as the last part of the joined half double crochet and fasten off. And that's the head with the nose done. I'll work the ear now. I'll start with the inner ear. So I'll use my 105, the bridal white. And I work six chain.
I work one slip stitch in the second chain from the hook. So a slip stitch in the second chain from the hook. One single crochet into the next stitch. A half double crochet into the following stitch. A single crochet into the next stitch and slip stitch into the last stitch. And fasten off. And that's the inner ear done. Now for the outer ear, we can join in any stitch along the sides. I'm going to join just before my tails there because I'm going to work over the top of them. So I'm using my 179, the topaz, my main colour. And I work one chain. Now I work one single crochet into each stitch on the sides and one single crochet three chain and one single crochet into each of the two corner stitches. So one single crochet into each of the stitches on the sides. So I've got two there. Now into this corner stitch I'm going to work one single crochet three chain and one single crochet and then I'm going to crochet one single crochet into each stitch down this side into um, I'll be crocheting it crocheting into the back loop of the chain and I'm holding the tails against my work and crocheting over the top of them And then into this corner stitch here, I'll work one single crochet, three chain, and one single crochet. And then one single crochet into each remaining stitch. And then I slip stitch into the top of the first stitch and fasten off. And that's the ear done. I'll have to just trim those tails off. Now for the outer eye, the white bit, I've got my 106, the snow white, and I work three chain. Into the second chain from the hook, I work one single crochet, one half double crochet, and one double crochet.
and into the last chain I work one double crochet one half double crochet and then slip stitch into that same stitch and fasten off and that's the outer eye done now for the inner eye I've got my 110 the black and I make a magic loop there's lots of ways to make a magic loop, so make it how you like. I just put the hook on my yarn, bring the short end over the hook and take the long end over the short end. Put the yarn around the hook and bring the hook with the yarn through the circle. And there's my magic loop. I work one chain and into my circle I work one single crochet and one double crochet. I pull the circle tight so I take hold of the end of the tail and ease it in and I fasten off. Now when I weave in my ends I'm going to leave these ends and I'll use them to stitch the inner eye to the outer eye. Now I'll be back with my main colour, the 179, and we'll work the body. For the body, I've got my 179, and I'm going to start on the neck, which is behind the head. So I start with four chain. For row one, I miss the first chain and work one single crochet into each remaining chain. I'll have three stitches. For row two, I start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of the three stitches. For row three, I start with one chain and turn and work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and one single crochet into the last stitch. For row four, I start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of my two stitches. For row 5, I start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch. For row 6, I start with one chain and turn. I work two single crochet into the first stitch. and one single crochet into the last stitch. For row seven, I start with one chain and turn. I work two single crochet into the first stitch one single crochet into the next stitch and two single crochet into the last stitch.
and then I work 11 chain. That's for the back. For row 8, we work 2 single crochet in the 2nd chain from the hook. And then we work 1 single crochet into each remaining chain and 1 single crochet into each of our stitches. We'll have 16 stitches. So one single crochet into each remaining stitch. For row 9, we start with 1 chain and turn. We work 2 single crochet into the first stitch. Then we work 1 single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. We'll work 2 single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 18 stitches. So after our two single crochet into the first stitch, work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. I'm at the last stitch, we work two single crochet into our last stitch. For row 10, we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of our 18 stitches.
For row 11, we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. We'll work two single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 19 stitches. So one single crochet into each stitch till we have one stitch left. and work two single crochet into the last stitch. For row 12, we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of our 19 stitches. For row 13, we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch. And work one single crochet into each stitch to the end. We'll have 20 stitches. For bow 14, I start with one chain and turn. I work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. Then work one single crochet into each stitch to the end. I'll have 19 stitches.
For bow 15 I start with 1 chain and turn. I work 2 single crochet in the first stitch. Then 1 single crochet into each stitch to the end. I'll have 20 stitches. For bow 16, we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. Then work one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches. We'll work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches and we'll have 18 stitches. So after our initial joined single crochet, Work one single crochet in each stitch to the last two stitches. and work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. When I film the body, I missed two rows. I've added them in, but the deer in the video will look thinner than yours does. I haven't redone the whole video because my old dog snores while I film, so she has to be locked in the bedroom while I film and that really upsets her because she likes to be right next to me and it would be too much to lock her up again. For row 17 we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. Then we work one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches We'll work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches and we'll have 16 stitches. So after our joined single crochet, work one single crochet into each stitch till you have two stitches left. and work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. And that's the body done. We'll start on the back leg now. We start with one chain and turn. 
we work a join single crochet over the first two stitches. Work one single crochet into the next stitch and a joined single crochet over the following two stitches. We've got three stitches. For row 19 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of the three stitches. For row 20 we start with one chain and turn, we work two single crochet into the first stitch and a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 21 we start with one chain and turn we work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and two single crochet into the last stitch. Our legs sloping out towards the back. For row 22 we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch and a join single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 23 we start with one chain and turn, we work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and we work one half double crochet into the last stitch. For a half double crochet we put the yarn around the hook, hook into the stitch and bring through a loop, yarn around the hook, take our hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. For row 24 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of our two stitches. For row 25 we start with one chain and turn. We work a single crochet into the first stitch and a half double crochet into the last stitch. For row 26 we start with one chain and turn and work a single crochet into each of our two stitches. For row 27 we start with one chain and turn we work a single crochet into the first stitch and a half double crochet into the last stitch. For row 28 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of our two stitches. For row 29 we start with one chain and turn and we work two single crochet into each of our two stitches. We'll have four stitches. And for row 30 we start with one chain and turn we work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. And we fasten off.
and that's the body and the back leg done. Now I'll start on this front leg now. Now I join my main colour six stitches before this front stitch. This stitch here. And work one chain. I work a joined single crochet over the next two stitches, so not the stitch where I've joined over the next two. I work one single crochet into the following stitch and a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. I've got three stitches. For row two, I start with one chain and turn. I work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and one single crochet into the last stitch. For row three, I start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of the two stitches. For row four, I start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch. For row five, I start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of the two stitches. For row six, I start with one chain and turn and work two single crochet into the first stitch. And one single crochet into the last stitch. For row 7, I start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of the three stitches. For row 8, I start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch. For row 9, I start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of the three stitches. For row 10, I start with one chain and turn. I work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. and one single crochet into the last stitch. For row 11, I start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of the two stitches. For row 12, I start with two chain and turn I work one half double crochet into the first stitch and two single crochet into the last stitch. For row 13, I start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of the three stitches. And for row 14, I start with one chain and turn and I work a joined 
single crochet over the three stitches. So I put my hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop and hook into the last stitch and bring up a loop. I've got four loops on the hook. I put the yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. And that's the body and the two legs done. I'm not going to fasten off. We're going to work a neatening row now. We don't turn after the last row. We're going to work one slip stitch into each stitch down the side of the front leg. Now I've worked down the side of the front leg. I'm going to do a little bit of shaping on the tummy part. So I work two single crochet into the first, one into each of the first two stitches on the tummy. So one single crochet into each of the first two stitches. Then I work one half double crochet into the next stitch, one double crochet into the following stitch, a half double crochet into the next stitch, and a single crochet into the last stitch. Then I work one slip stitch into each stitch up around the leg and down till I get to the back. I'm working slip stitches because I don't want the leg to get any thicker. Now I've worked a slip stitch right around the back leg. Now I'm going to work one single crochet into each stitch till about three from the top of the back. So to about here. 
So one single crochet into each stitch. Now I'm going to work the tail. So I start with seven chain. I work one single crochet in the second chain from the hook. I work the joined half double crochet over the next two stitches. For a joined half double crochet, put the yarn around your hook, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop. Then yarn around the hook, hook into the following stitch and bring up a loop. And then yarn around the hook and take the hook with this yarn at the end through all the loops. Then we work one half double crochet into the next stitch and one double crochet into each of the last two stitches. Then we miss one stitch along the back and slip stitch into the next stitch. and then work one single crochet into the following stitch. And there's the tail. Now we're going to do a slight bit of shaping just at the back of the back. So we work two half double crochet into the next stitch. And one half double crochet into the following stitch. Now we work one single crochet into each stitch up along the back, around the neck and down to the front leg. So one single crochet into each stitch till we get to the front leg.
Once we get to the front leg, we work one slip stitch into each stitch up to the beginning of the row. So just up to the end of the front leg. And once we get to the beginning of the row, we fasten off. And that's the body done. For this back part of the tail, I've got my 105, the bridal white, and I join to the back loop of that stitch there, the first stitch on the tail. And I work three chain. I work one half double crochet into the back loop of each of the next two stitches. One single crochet into each of the next two stitches. A slip stitch into the next stitch and a slip stitch into the point of the tail and fasten off. And that's the body with the tail complete. Now I'll be back with my main colour and we'll work the far legs. Now the far legs are both work the same. I've got my 179 and I work three chain. For row one, I miss the first chain and work one single crochet into each of the two remaining chain. For row 2, I start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet into each of the 2 stitches. For row 3, I start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet into each stitch. For row 4, I start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch. For row five, I start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch. For row six, I start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch. For row 7, I start with one chain and turn 
and work one single crochet into each stitch. For row 8 is the same, one chain and turn and one single crochet into each stitch. Row 9, I start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch. And for row 10, I start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch. For row 11, I start with two chain and turn. I work one half double crochet into the first stitch and one single crochet into the last stitch. For row 12, I start with one chain and turn. I work one single crochet into the first stitch and one half double crochet into the last stitch. For row 13, I start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch. For row 14, I start with one chain and turn and work two single crochet into the first stitch and two single crochet into the next stitch. For row 15, I start with one chain and turn. I work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. And now I'm going to work a neatening row. I start with one chain and turn. I work one single crochet into each of the stitches on the end of the leg and then I'm going to work one slip stitch in each stitch around the leg. Now I want it to bend this way so around this bend I'll work the slip stitches a bit looser and to make it bend in here I'll probably work a joined slip stitch just in that bend there. So one slip stitch in each stitch.
Now I'm to where I'd like it to bend, so I'll work a join slip stitch. So I put my hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop. Hook into the following stitch and bring up a loop and take the loop straight through the two loops. And that will just make it bend in slightly. And then I continue working a slip stitch till I get to the end of the row. I'm at the end of the row so I'll fasten off. And there's the first leg done. The next ones work the same. We start with three chain. For row one, we miss the first chain and work one single crochet into each of the remaining two chain. Now rows 2 to 10 are work the same. It's one chain and turn and one single crochet into each stitch. So I'll work rows 3 to 10 of one chain and turn and one single crochet into each stitch. Now I'll finish the first 10 rows. For row 11, we start with 2 chain and turn. We work one half double crochet in the first stitch and one single crochet in the last stitch. For row 12, we start with 1 chain and turn and work one single crochet into the first stitch and one half double crochet into the last stitch. For row 13, we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch. For row 14, we start with one chain and turn and work two single crochet into each stitch. For row 15, we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. And now we do our neatening row. We start with one chain and turn, work a single crochet into each of the two stitches and then work a slip stitch in each stitch around and you could work a joined slip stitch to bring it in at the bend there.
Now I'm at the bend so I work a join single, a join slip stitch. So I put my hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop and take it straight through the two loops on the hook and continue working a slip stitch to the end of the row. And fasten off. And that's the second leg done. Now I'll weave in the ends of the body and the legs and we'll work the hooves. Now all four of the hooves are worked the same, so I'll just work two. We join our cotton to the end of the leg. We're going to work over to the two middle stitches at the end of the leg. And we work one chain. We work two single crochet into the same stitch as a chain. and two single crochet into the next stitch. Then we work one chain and slip stitch into that same stitch as the last two single crochet and fasten off. And that's the first hoof done. The second ones work the same. We join to the first stitch at the end of the leg and work one chain. We work two single crochet into that same stitch and then two single crochet into the next stitch. Work one chain and slip stitch into the same stitch as the last two single crochets and fasten off. And the other two hooves will be worked the same. That's those two done. These two will be worked on this wider end here. They bend out towards that way. So you work them on this wider end. Now I'll work the antlers and the spots now but I have worked some deers without the spots and some without the antlers. Now for the spots I've worked five I've got my 105, the bridal white, and I make a magic loop. I work one chain and work three single crochet into my circle. I pull the circle tight and join with a slip stitch in the top of the first stitch and fasten off. And that's a spot done. I'll work one more. So I make a magic loop and work one chain and work three single crochet into my circle. I pull the circle tight and slip stitch in the top of the first stitch. 
and fasten off. Now I'll work three more spots of video. Now for the antlers, they both work the same. I've got my 105, the bridal white, and I start with nine chain. I miss the first chain and work one single crochet into each of the next four stitches. Then I work six chain. I miss one chain and work one single crochet into each of the next three chain. And then I work three chain. I miss one chain and work one single crochet into each of the last two chain. One single crochet into the side of that single crochet there. A single crochet in the bottom of that last single crochet and then one single crochet into the next chain. Then work five chain. Miss the first chain and work one single crochet into each remaining chain. One single crochet into the side of that single crochet from the last part and then one single crochet into that last chain there and a single crochet into each stitch down to the end to the last one and I slip stitch into the last one. I've got one chain left, I slip stitch into it. That just gives it a bit more of a point and I fasten off. And that's the first antler done. Now the second antlers work the same. I start with nine chain. I miss one chain and work one single crochet into each of the next four chain. Then I work six chain.
I miss one chain and work one single crochet into each of the next three chain. Then I work three chain. I miss one chain and work one single crochet into each of the two remaining chain. One single crochet into the side of the next single crochet and one single crochet into the bottom of that single crochet and a single crochet into the next chain. Then we work five chain. We miss one chain and work one single crochet into each remaining chain. A single crochet into the side of the single crochet at the bottom of that section and then a single crochet into the remaining chain on there and one single crochet into each stitch down to the last stitch. We work a slip stitch into the last chain and fasten off. And that's the second antler done. Now that's all my pieces worked except for the blaze part but I crochet it on after I've attached the head to the body. So I'll weave in the ends and I'll be back and we'll start putting it together. Now there's all my pieces. I've got the body, the two legs, the outer eye, the inner eye, the head, the ear, the spots and the two antlers. Now the first thing I'll do is attach the spots to the body, just random. In like that some, somehow, um, not looking too symmetrical and I'll attach the inner eye to the outer eye. Where the magic loop was I attached that to the end with the tail and this the finishing end I'll attach to the side there and I'll stitch it down. So I'll do that and I'll be back. The next thing I do is attach the eye to the head. The black bit goes at the top and it, the white points slightly back. And I'll also embroider on the eyelashes and the eyebrow. The next things I'll do is embroider on the mouth and attach the ear to the head. It goes about there. We need enough room to attach the antler between the eyebrow and the ear. So I'll do those. Next I'll attach the head to the body about two rows up from the neck. So about there and then I'll be back and I'll crochet on the blaze. Now for the blaze, I join my 105, the bridal white, two stitches up from the neck there. So this stitch here, mm -hmm. 
and work one slip stitch into the next stitch. Then I work one single crochet in the first stitch on the body. I work two half double crochet into each of the next two stitches. and one half double crochet into the following stitch. Two half double crochet into the next stitch. And one half double crochet into the following stitch. Then work one single crochet into each of the next two stitches and slip stitch into each of the following two stitches and fasten off. And that's the blaze done. Now I'll weave in those ends. Now the last things I'll do is attach the antlers and the far legs. If you wanted a fawn, you could leave off the antlers. Now for the back legs, one goes in behind the back leg. They both go slightly higher than the other leg. And the other goes about there, and the one antler goes at the front between the ear and the eyebrow, and the other goes behind. Part of it just goes behind the other antler. about there, they're about the same height. So I'll attach them and I'll be back to show you the finished ear. And here's the finished ear. This is the one with the wider body and I left the spots off it as well. The finished size is 10 and a half centimetres by 16 centimetres or four and a quarter inches by six and a quarter inches. If you've liked my video, please like, subscribe and share. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter. The details are in the description below, along with the details of my website where I have my patterns, the details of my Facebook group and the details of my Patreon. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.